Bitcoin up around 20% in the last day or so, leaving everyone guessing once again, are the Bitcoin bulls back? Or is this just another short-term move to get everyone's hopes up before a move back to the downside? What's up, everyone? Welcome to Crypto Capital Venture. Hit that subscribe on your way in. Hit that like button. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers, everybody. I appreciate your support. Appreciate you just cruising with me on this crypto journey. Let's jump into the Bitcoin charts. Here we are. Everyone, I've been talking about this stinking symmetrical triangle for a while now. And I'm just that... This is just how I do my TA. I, I, I just don't leave these patterns behind until it's absolutely necessary and the rules truly are broken. Now... Here's how this has played out. We've tracked the symmetrical triangle, right? Here's the symmetrical triangle we've been tracking. We anticipated and tracked the pullback. We talked about the potential for a busted symmetrical triangle, and we're going to talk about that. Bitcoin failed at this trend line, came back down, and basically as it as it was coming back down, we were looking for support here in this area and Bitcoin actually bounced. And when I was doing the video yesterday, I didn't think Bitcoin I thought Bitcoin was going to continue the downside. I truly did. That's why I kind of abandoned the busted symmetrical triangle but here it is still in play and the reason it's still in play is this and i, I want to read this to you this is from the pattern site.com i'll put a link in the description i use so much so much data and so many rules in terms of technicals uh from this website it's bolkowski if you want to study and learn as well you can do that i adjust some things based on the volatility of bitcoin and, and my experience over the years with bitcoin but here's a rule the busted symmetrical triangle i want to read this really i think is important Price can break out of a symmetrical triangle in any direction. When price moves no more than 10%, reverses direction, and closes beyond the side opposite the breakouts, it busts the chart pattern. For testing and safety, I use the top and bottom of the triangle as the price where a stock busts the triangle, not a trend line break. So let me let me break this down for you. So what he's saying is basically, obviously, Bitcoin can break in any direction. The downside the upside what he's using for a busted symmetrical triangle is this area right here the the top of the top trend line or the bottom of the lower trend line he's not using these trend lines over here so if bitcoin gets up in this area and breaks these trend lines that's not a busted symmetrical triangle busted symmetrical triangle is bitcoin breaking back above forty two thousand dollars and then the busted symmetrical triangle is in play now Obviously, a stepping stone to that is busting the apex of the symmetrical triangle, and Bitcoin has failed to do that. But the rules remain in play. Bitcoin broke to the downside no more than 15%. You know, we adjust that. We add 5% to the 10% rule for volatility of Bitcoin. And as I was talking about that then, Bitcoin bounced almost exactly off that area for the pullback and came back down and tested pretty much that same area. So we still have not broken below 15% uh from this trend line so this is still 100 percent in play in my opinion and there's other stuff going on in the charts I, and i'm sure there's a ton of other people talking about other patterns i get a lot of comments about a falling wedge a falling channel which i mean is, is pretty much clearly there you can see that and i could definitely start covering that but at the end of the day one thing is true bitcoin is grappling and fighting and and just continues to test this upper trend line whether you're looking at a symmetrical triangle that we were tracking or a falling channel that trend line is the same and bitcoin's once again approaching it and that's what we're watching for can bitcoin come come back down and put in another swing low of a falling falling channel absolutely maybe that happens uh, but in the meantime i'm going to continue using the data from the symmetrical triangle because i think in in my opinion is 100% the most bullish play for Bitcoin because Bitcoin does this often in bullish environments. And it's actually one of the rules here. Uh, I, I forget where it is exactly, but here you go. Symmetrical triangles will with downward breakouts bust 48% of the time in bull markets. So it happens, everybody, a lot in bull markets. So let's talk about this. It, at the very least, I want to put this out there. Don't be faked out by this move that's happening right now in the last day. We have the same exact resistance that we had the other day, which is the swing high to swing low. And we're still testing this Fibonacci resistance area confluent with the apex 
of that symmetrical triangle and you can just see that is the 786 line around thirty five thousand eight hundred dollars down to the 618 where bitcoin is testing right now thirty four thousand four hundred or so that area of resistance is there going into tonight that's the area i'm watching for i'm going to continue watching for that and at the end of the day we're pretty much past the apex of the symmetrical triangle i get that but one thing is true we're still tracking a trend and no resistance or support meaning support the 15 percent rule has been broken that support area and resistance has not been broken that are these trend lines that we're that we're watching right and and you can just see these these extend past the apex they're true trend lines hence why people people are tracking a falling channel because this trend line comes all the way out so that's what we're watching in terms of bitcoin where it is on the charts uh, from that area, it's another 4% or so move. If, if if this thing really has legs right now tonight, I think it's a move that Bitcoin could easily just break through in the very short term. I'm talking the hours ahead. It's, it's like 8 o'clock Eastern right now. Uh, so that's what I'll be tracking on Bitcoin. Going over to the hourly, you can see the mess. It's just a mess. And it's just been leaving us guessing ever since we broke this lower trend line. Bitcoin's obviously just been testing. The bulls just, they are relentless. They're not giving up everybody. And what's funny is I was pre preparing this video. I noticed something and I'm not even going to start talking about this right now. A, a lot of you probably are just sick of hearing about symmetrical triangles if you've been watching these videos. Um, but here we have this swing low back here. We have a higher low. It's slightly higher, but we have this lower trend line. We have a series of lower highs currently we have another very micro looking symmetrical triangle bitcoin's bouncing around i hope this doesn't play out where bitcoin just continues just like putting in these higher lows and then lower highs over the coming days into february i'd rather see something dramatic happen on the short term um and and we can really get a conclusive ruling on what bitcoin's going to do but one thing i also wanted to note here on this is this could be the most epic bounce for bitcoin if bitcoin makes this move through this, through these trend lines and bust the symmetrical triangle. Remember the busted uh, symmetrical triangle rule is up here around forty-two thousand dollars. If this happens off of this fifty-day moving average bounce, it will just be so epic. But I have to just put this word of caution out to you all, just to anticipate this. Right? We we live in this world of Bitcoin. If you're a bull, where you want this to happen, you want Bitcoin to take off. I don't know what your action plan is. Mine is to be tweeting like crazy, doing some YouTube videos and just enjoying the gains. But on the flip side, you want to be ready for downside. And and I want to just illustrate and just show you a true reflection of what downside could look look like. Don't be fooled right now, everybody. Bitcoin is putting a nice move up around 20% in the last day or so. But I'm telling you, this Fibonacci resistance is right here. Bitcoin can fail once again. And we could be talking about testing this 50-day moving average down here around $30,000 once again by tomorrow morning or something. Be careful. Be ready for that. And also, the true illustration is all the way back here. I'm telling you, this move back in like June of 2017 is so harmonious with what bitcoin looks like right now which is bitcoin kind of fell into this symmetrical triangle of sorts it tested the 50-day moving average it actually continued to see support people probably getting quite bullish maybe this was the turnaround for continued upside sound familiar that's kind of where we are right now and then bitcoin actually finally hit that dip it was like a week long just big dip for bitcoin and it was it just happened it had to happen and that could be what's in play and in store right now we're getting this initial 50-day moving support 50-day moving average support but that dip could possibly be coming to that twenty-four thousand dollar target just be ready for it that's all i'm saying everybody anticipate every scenario don't try and predict don't look for youtubers that are going to tell you what bitcoin's going to do next none of us know exactly what's going to happen but anticipate these scenarios based on the data that's being presented for to you just make the best possible decision for you and your portfolio everybody's different now can bitcoin bounce off this 50-day moving average it totally can it would be so bullish and what's awesome about these two areas back in 2017 what bitcoin was doing then and that was July 2017, is just very similar to where Bitcoin is right now. And it's unbelievable, the harmony on the charts right now. And that is, we're testing this 1618 line right now. And I know I'm zoomed out on this little 
laptop of mine, but you can see we're testing this 1618 line of this macro Fibonacci. Here are the bull market doors down here. And we were testing in that same move last time, the 1618 line of that macro Fibonacci. Here are those bull market doors back there. The harmony on these Bitcoin charts is ridiculous. Ridiculous. It's it's set up so nicely as we anticipated Bitcoin entering this bull market. And I can't believe that it's playing out just in such a similar way. It would be very interesting to see. And actually, here's the move on the weekly chart right now, testing the 1618 line on that macro chart. And here it is comparatively to back then in 2017. And this was that big last drop Bitcoin had to that 20 week moving average. Uh, before continuation to the upside. One thing is true on the long term, everybody, I'm I'm just so bullish on Bitcoin. Whether we do get a little bit of a drop to the $24,000 area and we do allow the 20-week moving average to catch up to Bitcoin a little bit before continuation to the upside, I'm so, ma I'm so bullish on the macro charts for Bitcoin. Bitcoin is just following the cycles, following its cycles so nicely, and we're just tracking it. And when we're tracking it on these hourly charts and the six hours, it gets messy. It gets emotional. Don't get so wrapped up in that. Um, and, and, you know, I have my own approach to how I'm reading these charts and I am sticking to the symmetrical triangle. I want to see how Bitcoin plays this thing out, especially with these two trend lines from that apex of the triangle just right ahead of us. A lot of resistance. That's what I'll be watching tonight. Let's see what Bitcoin does. Everybody, appreciate you cruising by. Hit that subscribe. Hit that like. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.